So I just wanted to make a quick MLB news and rumors video for you guys, but in this video, I'm just going to be focusing on the New York Mets in particular. So uh, if you're a fan of the New York Mets or you're interested in some New York Mets uh, rumors and news, uh, feel free to watch this video. Let's get right into it. So just starting off with the New York Mets rumors, and that's going to be kind of the basis of this video uh, in regards to uh, left-handed relief pitching. Uh, John Heyman had a pretty good article on, um, I think, NewYorkSports.com or NewYorkPost.com, my apologies. A link to this article will be down below uh, in the description of this video, where he just sort of went over all of the latest news and rumors uh, in regards to what he's hearing um, about MLB free agency and MLB news, uh, MLB trade rumors, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and the New York Mets are mentioned in this article, uh, you know, in relation to their interest in uh, the left-handed pitching market. So uh, it says, after signing Tommy Pham to be their fourth outfielder for $6 million, the Mets are looking for a lefty reliever and there's interest in Zach Britton. So far, the Mets aren't sure if they can work out a deal for Britton, who threw for teams last week. Andrew Chafin, whose market is heating up, is another Mets possibility. So it seems, it seems like at this point, uh, the Mets are now shifting their attention towards the uh, left-handed relief market where there's you know, lots of options available, um, as mentioned in this article, uh, Zach Britton of the Yankees, uh, Andrew Chafin of the Tigers, but there's also guys like Will Smith um, of the Astros. There's someone like Brad Hand, for example, um, of the Phillies. There's a lot of other players as well, you know, Matt Moore of the Texas Rangers. Um, you name it, there's a lot of left-handed options available um, in the relief pitching market. So uh, the Mets might now shift their attention towards bringing on a left-handed arm uh, for their bullpen for the 2023 season. Uh, but as mentioned, to keep an eye on uh, Zach Britton and Andrew Chafin in particular. So uh, in this video, I just want to dive in a little bit um, about some stats and insight of, uh, around Andrew Chafin and Zach Britton uh, and why or why not they might be good ideas for the Mets to pursue in free agency. So starting off this video with Andrew Chafin. Andrew Chafin's probably the best relief pitcher available on the market, in my opinion, uh, I know this player is garnering a ton of interest uh, on the free agency, uh, uh, on the free agency market this offseason, um, and should command a, a fairly solid contract, I would imagine. I think a lot of teams do have interest uh, in bringing on Andrew Chafin this year, so um, you know him being one of the best pitchers available on the market um, should bode well for you know big market teams that can afford him, maybe offer him a little bit more money. Uh, so the Mets could fall into that category by all means. Uh, now in 2022, as you can tell, uh, Andrew Chafin had a pretty solid year. Um, 0 0.3 war, 2 wins, 3 losses, 2.83 ERA, uh, 64 games played, uh, recorded 3 saves in the process, uh, but in 57.1 innings pitched, he had 67 strikeouts and a whip of 1.169. So overall, a uh, pretty incredible year for Andrew Chafin, especially compared to his career averages. You know, this year in 2022 um, with the Tigers and then last year split between the Cubs and the Athletics, uh, Andrew Chafin's been one of the best left-handed relief pitchers in all of baseball. So uh, being able to get him on the open market uh, for, you know, you're going to have to pay for him, obviously, but uh, I think this could be money well spent, especially, you know, considering the past uh, couple of years have been pretty consistent uh, and pretty elite. Uh, I do think, uh, you know, signing a guy like Andrew Chafin for the Mets would be in their best interest. Now, if you're curious in uh, some more in-depth um, you know, analytical stats about Andrew Chafin. Uh, I left a little screenshot on the right hand side of the screen just about his baseball savant stats. So, as you can tell, um, you know, has an extremely high chase, a great chase rate. Um, you know, has a K percentage that's pretty high as well. Um, X batting average is pretty high. X slugging is pretty high. Um, he has some pretty good underlying stats. Now, I guess you know, some of the downfalls to him would be his fastball velocity doesn't throw the quickest fastball. Um, not a lot of spin on that fastball either, it seems like. Uh, but also, too, uh, his barrel percentage is quite, I, I guess, poor compared to his, you know, has some of his peers but um overall really good underlying stats i would say for andrew chafin so if you're interested in that uh, check out the link down below in the uh, in the description of this video uh, where you can look more in depth on his baseball savant stuff if you're interested in that um you know but of course the stats are brought to you guys by baseball reference uh, so feel free to check that out down below as well um, but overall i think andrew chafin makes a lot of sense for the mets he makes a lot of sense for i guess really any team uh, looking to contend for a World Series and just add one of the best lefties um, to their rotation, or sorry, to their bullpen uh, for the 2023 season. So overall, uh, I'm a pretty big fan of this move if you are the Mets, uh, and I definitely think they should pursue this if possible. So uh, Andrew Chafin, uh, one player mentioned by John Heyman, uh, would be a very good option for the Mets in 2023. Now, the second player mentioned is Zach Britton, formerly of the New York Yankees, and then prior to that, uh, probably more known for his time with the Baltimore Orioles is an interesting case because the last couple of years he hasn't been healthy 
uh, and just hasn't had good stats because of it. But uh, I, I actually included a snippet from 2019 to 2020 also, uh, his first two years with the Yankees, where he actually was a, a really solid option uh, coming out of the bullpen uh, for the Yankees. So uh, in 2022, though, as I mentioned before, just appeared in three games, 0.2 innings pitch. So just recorded two outs, one strikeout, like not a good enough sample size to see um, you know how good this player is. And as I mentioned before, um, injuries have been a factor the last couple of years in Zach Britton's career. So that could be a bit of a red flag and a bit of a hindrance if you're the Mets. I'm just not really too sure what you're going to be getting out of Zach Britton. Now, I would, I would suspect that at this point, the price take form is probably pretty low. I can't imagine that this player is going to cost you too much money um, on just a one-year contract. So it's one of those things where it's not going to be a big commitment financially, but the payoff could be quite significant. So I really do think that... Uh, it makes a lot of sense uh, for the Mets to maybe take a flyer on Zach Britton, especially with the familiarity Zach Britton has um, with Buck Showalter back in the Baltimore Orioles days. But uh, as I kind of mentioned before, I included the 2019 to 2020 stretch for Zach Britton, um, who played for the Yankees in both these seasons. He had pretty incredible stats when he was healthy, and this is not too long ago either. Um, you know, four wins, three losses, but did have a 1.9 ERA in 86 games played which I think is pretty tremendous. Um, 11 saves, but that's not really uh, what he'd be on the Mets. Obviously, just be a lefty bullpen arm. Uh, did have 69 strikeouts. Hilarious. Um, you know, 17 earned runs only. Like, overall, pretty solid stats if you look at his numbers. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of this guy. If he can get back to his 2019-2020 self, because as I sort of, as I sort of mentioned before, um, the last couple of years hasn't been great for him. Um, I'm sure he'd admit it too, just, you know, unlucky with injuries and all that kind of stuff. But uh, Zach Britton's more of a gamble, uh, but not going to cost you as much money with potential to, for there to be a high upside. Now, if you want to check out his uh, baseball savant stats as well, um, I included them from the 2020 season because uh, the 2021 and 2022 seasons just aren't a large enough sample size to really um, get a good gauge on what Zach Britton can be. But um, as you can tell in 2020, um, his fastball velocity was pretty great. Um, his hard hit percentage was pretty great. Uh, the barrel percentage was great also. Um, and overall, it's some pretty good stats. You know, good chase rate. Now his whiff percentage uh, based on balls percentage and K percentage is a little bit, I guess, lower, not where you want it to be. But if you want to check out more of his stats on Baseball Savant, uh, link down below in the description of this video. Um, but overall, uh, if I'm the if I'm the Mets right now, I would probably go after Andrew Chafin before I go after Zach Britton. But if you're able to get either one of these players, um, I think they could pay off dividends in their own regard uh, and be a solid addition to the team if Britton can stay healthy uh, and if Chafin can still be the player that he was uh, the last couple of seasons. So uh, Zach Britton's the second player uh, and is more intriguing, uh, but also more of a risk also. So now just to conclude this video, I just want to touch on what the projected bullpen uh, for the New York Mets looks like in 2023. Now, this is according to Fangraphs.com. Uh, so go check out Fangraphs if you want to. A uh, link will also be down below in the description of this video, uh, just in case you want to see the projected lineup for the Mets or any other team. Um, they do a pretty good job on their website of doing that. But um, yeah, obviously, Edwin Diaz, they brought him back as a closer. One of the best, if not the best, in baseball. Um, they did sign uh, Adam Ottavino, uh, you know, last year, and they brought him back. So that's huge. Um, David Robertson's new, Brooks Raley's new, so hopefully those guys can uh, be pretty good for the team next year. So overall, uh, this bullpen is much improved, but as you can tell, other than David Peterson uh, and Brooks Raley, who they traded for, not a lot of lefties in this rotate or in this bullpen. Now they do have two arms, which is pretty solid, and they did trade for Brooks Raley this year. Uh, so I think that at this point, adding another lefty to this team would not be a terrible idea. Um, it's not as big of a necessity, in my opinion, as maybe some other teams uh, have, for example. But um, I do think at this point, you know, Steve Cohen is willing to spend money, willing to make his team better. Uh, and if you're able to get one of the best lefty relievers on the market, let's just say you plug Andrew Chafin into this bullpen, for example, uh, it opens it opens up a lot more doors and makes this team a lot more versatile uh, coming out of the bullpen. And pitching wise, this team's one of the best in the league, if not the best in the league uh, for the 2023 season. So uh, we'll keep an eye on the New York Mets this offseason. Um, could they be adding a pitcher? Could they not? I guess we'll find out, but we'll keep an eye on Andrew Chafin and Zach Britton in particular. So that's going to conclude this video. Thanks again for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, for all the latest MLB news, rumors, trade rumors, content, you know, anything regarding the MLB, uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.